to uh, was one other verse that we wanted to point out. Um, oh, here, here we go. Here we go. First Timothy. We're gonna conclude around here. Though there's probably other references we can we can uh, go into in the scripture to show that Jesus Christ, mortal and man, Rastafari or Kadamawi Haile Selassie, mortal and man. And both admitted it, and the scriptures admit it, and the reality admitted it, because the foundation, if we accept the understanding of First Corinthians 3.11, that that foundation is Jesus Christ, and Jesus Christ is that man who laid down his life, you understand? So he is both the foundation, no, no, no other man can lay a better foundation or other foundation than the foundation which is laid, and that is Jesus Christ. Therefore, an overstanding of that is that humanity, the humanity of Christ, is actually the foundation of the true Christianoi or the little Christ, to say Christians. But we're going to go to 1 Timothy 2 and 5, and this is a beautiful verse right here which explains it all in the word as well for there is one God and one mediator between God and man the man Christ yes the man Christ Jesus did you hear this first Timothy 2 and 5 for there is one God one God we have one God and what is God Christ tells us God is a spirit for there is one God and one mediator. Therefore, if God is a spirit, what must we receive? We must receive the Holy Spirit. This is why we are truly called Christianoi or Christian, and Christian means little Christ. Therefore, if we are little Christ, why is it hard to admit that there is Christ in his kingly character who said, I am a man and mortal and, be, and will be replaced by the oncoming generation? Jesus Christ. Jesus of Nazareth, a man, mortal, was replaced by that oncoming generation, which was that apostolic generation. So 1 Timothy 2 and 5 says, For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man, Christ Jesus. So if you try to say that, well, Jesus Christ is God. And it's not to deny the divinity of Jesus Christ. But first of all, the foundation of Jesus Christ is that he is the man, Christ, Jesus. So this verse right here is also a very, very important verse to, to understand and to make note of 1 Timothy 2 and 5. This is why for us as mature Rastafari, 1 Timothy 6 and 3 is also a good reminder. If any man teach otherwise, if any of these Christians or whatever want to teach otherwise, and consent not to wholesome words, even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the doctrine which is the Timherit or the Talmud or the teaching of Jesus Christ, which is according to, to godliness. What does the word state to us? The word is very clear about how we are to behave, but that one is proud knowing nothing, but doting about questions and strife of words. His majesty said that he's not divine, he's not Christ. Look, he clearly said, I'm a man of mortal, be replaced by the oncoming generation. Don't make a mistake in pretending or assuming that man is emanated from a deity. It's very, it's very, very, very clear. Whereof cometh envy, strife, railings, evil surmisings, pervasive pervades uh, disputings of men of corrupt minds and destitute. That means like they're poor, they're poor, poor in truth, poor of truth, supposing that gain is godliness. From such withdraw thyself. But godliness with contentment is great gain. And that's an important area of scripture as well. Now this is also very clear. Hebrews 2 and 9 has a certain particular theology that his imperial majesty to interview in his word about being mortal and divine. See that, that idea may, may, may scare some immature rosters because some have been, been believing um, certain things that are not based on the teaching of his imperial majesty on the Bible. You know, such as even Barana Salase, Bar Marley to a certain extent. I mean, he never said that Rastafari was not. People try to put all these things out basically because, you know, in counterfeit Christianity they have to find some boogeyman. They have to find some somebody to call the devil because when you see how modern Christians are so much opposite of the teaching of Jesus Christ, 
you know, 180 degree opposite and that their fruit, their fruit are not the fruit of Jesus Christ, therefore they are the Antichrist. So instead of them dealing with themselves, they want to point and say, oh, Rastafari, oh, that's witchcraft, that's Jamaica's witchcraft, or the black Hebrew Israelites, or that's witchcraft, or anything that talks about the real issues in the world. A lot of these counterfeit Christians jump up there, especially on the YouTubes and elsewhere, and, you know, they like to finger point and demonize other folks. But if you really take a good look at them, then you really will see something very interesting, and the word already testifies against them. But Hebrews 2 and 9 says this, but we see Iesus, Iusus, Jehoshua, who was made a little lower than the angels. So how can he be God if he was made a little lower than the angels? Overstand what's saying here. For the what? Suffering of death. For the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that he, by the grace of God, should taste death for every man. So see, the idea of being mortal, the idea of our humanity, it's not something that we should run from, and clearly from the interview of His Imperial Majesty, speaking about um, being Christ or being being mortal, really being mortal and divine. That's what's been answered. It's not like these liars. They're they're liars because they say His Majesty He's not divine. If you listen to it, He never says says I'm not divine. You see, they're liars because in this in that case, if we say Jesus is a man and he's mortal based on the text, based on the Bible, and based on the first century Christians, should we assume that he is not divine, that Jesus is not divine, because he suffered death, because he was a man, because he was crucified, because he bled, because he suffered, because he felt pain, because he felt what we as human beings feel? Do you, do you receive what's being said here? But let's just conclude this Jesus and man reasoning for a moment. First Peter 4 and 11. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles, the words of God. If any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which God giveth, that God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christos. His imperial majesty kept to this and fulfilled this. This key word, that God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christos, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. First John 2 and 1. My little children, these things I write to you, that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father. Very important for us as a to keep in mind. We have an advocate with the Father. Jesus Christos Sadku or the Sadik, the righteous. The Holy Spirit said, you know, instead of go, go, you know, there's, there's a way to argue this from our own point of view, like our own mind, our own thinking, and there's a way to argue this from the Holy Spirit. Or through the Holy Spirit, rather, from the Holy Spirit perspective. From the Holy Spirit perspective, we have to name these people clearly what they are. They're liars. And, you know, and the guy seemed very sincere in his video. He seemed sincere, you know, kind of like he was really concerned about, you know, like a lot of these people, they're concerned about Rastafari or the Rastafarian spirituality and whether we go to heaven or stuff like that. But yet they're liars. You know, that's, that's the most um, obvious thing that you, you, you can't avoid. And what we don't do is we don't say it as it is many times. But these individuals are liars. These individuals who are going around saying His Majesty said He wasn't Christ and He wasn't divine, they're liars. Because there's nowhere in the particular interview, based on the evidence, this is, let's say it's Let's say it legalistically, like they probably the legalists can understand it. That they are liars based on the evidence. Because it's the major point, if you will go and return to the evidence, their major point, or the major point, the main point of what they are attempting to make believe. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to make believe that His Majesty said He's not divine. They're trying to make believe, make you be lie Eve, make you believe, and that's what he said. But if you look or listen 
and read if you get a good transcript or just listen and look at a good transcript of the interview and the particular portion that they're talking about. Nowhere in that did he even hint at that. Because if he were to deny as a Christian, just on a basic level of, of understanding this, as an Ethiopian Christian, Tawahedo Christian. See, in Tawahedo Christianity, we understand that God and man was one. That man through his hatiyat or his sinfulness, his rebellion, broke away from God and fell to animalistic and beastly on a low level of, of life. That man was rescued through the coming of Gietach and Jesus Christos, through the coming of Jesus Christ. He was, he was able to be brought back into the family of God. You understand? Because we read in the Bible that Adam was also a son of God. And let's go to uh, was one other verse.